Hello everyone, my name is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is 10th chapter. Look what Jesus can do. Some fisher fishermen follow Jesus like Matthew. Fishermen Peter, Andrew, James, and John followed Jesus. Peter and Andrew, Andrew was brothers. James and John was also brothers. Philip, Bartholome, Thomas, Thaddeus, Simon, Judas, and James. So of all us also join them. Let's go to the other side of the lake, said Jesus one day. The twelve disciples followed Jesus. Jesus and the disciple were got into the boat. The disciple were happy to be with Jesus. They were going to cross the sea. Suddenly a windstone storm came up wind wish bit around them. The boat rocked back and forth. Waves splashed over the boat. The boat was going to sink. The disciples were afraid. Jesus was talking, taking a nap. The boat is sinking. Don't you care? Said the disciple. Jesus commanded to the storm to stop. Jesus called the wind. The wind stopped it. The waves became calm. The boat stopped rocking. Only the Son of can do can do this. The disciple were surprised. 11 chapter, who easily can do this? Mark 5, please come to my house. Jesus fell at Jesus' feet. My daughter is going to, to die. Please put your hands on her. Then she will be healed and leave. Jesus prayed honestly, please. Honestly, Jesus went to his home. It took a long time to go there. Many people came to meet Jesus. There were a woman among them. She had been very sick for 20 years. She spent all her money to cure his, her disease, but it got worse. She was following Jesus in the crowds and touched Jesus' clothes. As soon as they, she touched Jesus' clothes, she was healed. Jesus felt the power was out from him. While Jesus was talking with the woman, some men from the house of Jesus came and said, It's too late, your daughter is done. Jesus was very sad. He wept. Jesus said, don't be afraid. Just believe in God. The child will be alive. He went to the house of Jesus with his disciple. There were many people in the house. They cried aloud. They looked sad. Jesus was sad too. If Jesus was here earlier, my daughter would be alive. My daughter is dead, said Jesus. This child is not dead. She's sleeping, said Jesus. People laughed at Jesus. Get out of this room. Jesus told everyone to leave the room. Jesus went into the room with her parents and few disciples. Little girl, let's get up, said Jesus holding her hands. The 12 years old girl got up, right away, and began to walk. The people were very surprised. 
Jairus was surprised and happy too. Who easily can do this kind of things? People talk to another in surprise. Twelfth chapter. A boy shared his lunch. Matthew fourteen. Here is your, here is your lunch," said his mother. There, five loaves of bread and two fish. Share them with your friend. The boy was excited. He was going to meet Jesus. He went with his friend. A large crowd came to Jesus. To see Jesus, there were so many people that it was difficult to be near to Jesus. Jesus got into the boat and went to a quiet place to rest. A large crowd followed Jesus too. Jesus got up from the boat and saw many people gathered there. Jesus wanted to help them. He healed many people in the evening. The disciple came to Jesus and said, "The people are must be hungry. Give them food. Must be hungry, Jesus. Give them food." Said Jesus. Over five thousand people came to Jesus. The disciple were worried about the food. Jesus must be hungry too. Said the little boy. So actually, five thousand means. Only they have counted the man, not the girl, woman, or the children. Over five thousand men was there. They also they didn't count the woman and the children. The boy brought his fruit from the disciple. I want to give this food to Jesus. The disciple took to the boy and said, "Thank you." And Jesus was very happy. Jesus didn't eat the food. Jesus let the people sit down on the grass. He took the five loaves of bread and two fish, and gave thanks God to the God. He gave them to the disciples. The disciples shared the food with the people. Everybody had enough food to eat. They, to their surprise, twelve basket was left over. Jesus smiled to the baby. I <laughs> know, sorry. Jesus smiled at the boy and the, and his friend. Thank you. For the food, said Jesus. The boy was proud. Jesus looked wonderful to him. Jesus fed so many people with his food. The boy smiled at Jesus. The boy must be proud of himself, right? Thirteen chapter. Jesus walked on water. Mark six. Everybody had hard meal with five loaves of bread and two fish. Jesus told to his disciples, "Go." On ahead from him, he also told the people to go back home. When Jesus went up to the mountain to pray, the disciple got into the boat. They were going to the Bethlehem. Ah,、uh, sorry, Bethsaida. They couldn't believe Jesus fed. Over five thousand people with only five loaves of bread and two fish. The night came. The wind swished. The waves lashed. The disciples were the boat with all their strength. The waves became stronger. The disciples were couldn't row the boat. They became very weak. Suddenly, they stopped it growing. Look at that! The disciples are afraid. Someone is walking on the water toward us. The disciples shouted, "It is a ghost!" It 
It's me. Don't be afraid," said the man on the water. "Jesus, Jesus!" shouted the, the disciple. When Jesus got in the boat, the wind climbed down to the. The disciples were even more surprised. They were real lost because Jesus was with them. One Jesus disciple said, "How can Jesus walk on the water? How can Jesus make the wind climb?" It is because he is the Son of God," said another disciple. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? And next time I will read another story. Then bye.